Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Ladder, bringing you the latest update on the progress for the construction of our new dental school. Construction is going at a very rapid pace as we have less than six months until we move into the building. Today's update takes you underground and behind the scenes to give an example of the physical infrastructure to support the 184 dental laboratories and 152 laboratory spaces in addition to the other living and learning spaces in the building. We're in the underground parking garage, which includes all the mechanical infrastructure for the dental clinics. In addition to the heating and cooling and regular plumbing of the building, the building includes power, data, dust collection, vacuum, compressed air, and in selected areas, natural gas, nitrous oxide, and oxygen. Throughout the building, the very complex infrastructure and plumbing has been coordinated in the most efficient way to deliver all these services into the key teaching, learning, and clinical spaces. We're standing here in our second floor classroom, one of three large group and small group adaptable learning spaces in the building. The technology infrastructure in the building is designed to provide the highest level of audio and visual technology to advance the learning and teaching for our students' sake. Information technology and data is an integral part to the building, supporting our clinics, our electronic health record, our educational program and grading, and our classroom and learning technologies. This is one of five data closets that when completed will include a massive number of data servers, cabling, dispersing data to all parts of the building. Stay tuned for our next update as we mark the progress of the completion of the new School of Dentistry at Creighton University.